Hey everyone, um, I just filmed the makeup portion of my Coastal Scents haul and um, if you're interested in seeing that, go ahead and check that out. It uh, should be labeled Coastal Scents haul part one. Um, and then this is going to be part two. I'm going to show you guys the brushes that I bought. So I'm going to start with the face brushes. Let's see. And then I'll do the, the rest. Um, they come in this really pretty like little organza bag. That's really cute. It's a nice little black one. Um, and then now, I don't know if this promotion is still going on. I know it was a summer promotion. If you ordered over $5, which is obviously not hard to do, you got the free um, baby bookie brush. And if you hear like a noise in the background, that's my daughter popping all the bubble wrap that just came in the box that I um, got all these things with. Um, but this brush is really cute. It's so little. It's like the perfect thing for like buffing your like under eye, like setting your under eye powder. Like if you want to set your concealer with a little bit of powder. Um, and this is also really good to just throw in your bag and travel with if you have to do some touch ups without taking a humongous brush. Um, so that would be really good for that. So I really like that. Plus he's so cute. Like how could you not love that? He's just a little guy. I've been wanting one of these brushes for a really long time. Um, this is just a buffer, and it's just the um, the black sable buffer. I I don't know. I just I don't own one of these, so I really wanted to to use it and to check it out um, for kind of like buffing in your powder, blending. Um, you can do so many different things with this, and this one seems to be really nice. I really like it. It's super soft. Um, I love the fact that it's like a sleek looking black handle um, and it's the perfect size I'm really excited to use this hmm. let's see how this works out this one is the synthetic angled blush and define brush and it's just like a nice um, it's incredibly soft just a nice angled brush perfect for contouring um, doing like blush and stuff like that um, and it seems to be really super soft so I'm excited to see how well it puts product on. This is the Tapered Duo Fiber Brush. Um, it's really, so, oh my god, it's so much softer than I thought. I actually wanted to get this because I don't own a stippling brush. Um, the closest thing that I own to something like that would be this one from Bare Essentials. Um, but, it's, you know, it's okay. I really wanted one for like foundation purposes and like light highlighting and stuff like that. Um, so this one looks really cool, you know, just to get that airbrushed finish. So I'm excited to try that out. Okay, the next brush that I got is a concealer brush. It is the oval, it is the oval camouflage brush. Just like a synthetic material, perfect for applying concealer. I got this to kind of go with that concealer palette that you saw in my part one. So it's like the perfect size to really get in and just do like small concealing areas. This is just a black sable lip brush, comes in like a little cover. And I wanted it just to go with the uh, lip palette that I brought. So another little lip brush. And the rest of the brushes that I got are all eye brushes. Okay, and the first one that I got is the black blending brush. I love the size of it. Um, it's so soft. Perfect for like blending um, colors in your eye. So you could probably use this for like um, some high or some contouring. Like if you wanted to contour a, the nose a little bit and um, maybe just like lightly sketch out like your cheekbones or whatnot and then blend with like a bigger brush like the buffer. Um, so this one can be used in a multiple variety of ways. I'm really happy with this seems to be really soft and I just want to add really quick that like I've seen a lot of people do hauls and like get like really dramatic about the smell of the brushes none of the brushes that I have received have had like an odor to them um, I'm not saying they're they don't smell like anything but I wouldn't just like open up the package and be like oh my god the brush smells terrible so I don't know if it's maybe not the type of brush that I bought but none of my brushes smell just to get that out there <laughs> and I'm really kind of happy because people were starting to scare me with the reviews on the website and whatnot but 
I mean, at the price of the brushes, how could you, how could you argue? This is the black crease brush. It's super soft. It has like a nice little tightly dense, like domed top. Um, and this is perfect for applying crease colors. So it's another one that I'm really happy with and really excited to use. I also bought one that's very similar to that one. Um, this is the Precision Detail. It's the pro one with the white hair. And it's a little bit stiffer than this one. Um, this one's definitely more like soft. This is a little bit more um, like stiff and dense, I guess you would say. So, so these are both perfect for blending um, tiny like details and doing um, this would, and this one would also be really good for uh, blending out um, and applying crease color. I bought one of the duo brushes just to try. And this is actually like the perfect travel brush um, because first of all it's not too big. You can see it's like a lot smaller than say this one and it's two different brushes. Um, it's just a basic like applicator brush and then it has like the crease like blending brush on the other end and this is called the chiseled fluff and the pointed duet and it's like perfect for you know putting on your lid color and then doing your crease color like in with this side so this is actually a really good one um, to travel with I got the pro blending okay, this is the pro blending fluff this one, I was so excited to see. I got it at the perfect time because it always seems to be sold out. It's extremely soft. Um, it's such a nice brush for, again, blending colors. And I don't know why, but I really like the white-haired brushes. Um, a lot of people don't like them because they show, they show um, you know, they get stained and whatnot. But there has been so many times where I picked up a brush that I haven't washed yet and I forgot what I used it for the time before and I go to apply my eyeshadow and I get like green or something when I'm trying to do like a brown look. So these are really good because they show you um, if you need to wash your brushes. So, Okay, the second to last brush that I got is just an angled liner brush. Looks like that. And I don't have one of these. This is another brush that I don't have and but I've heard people say that using these um, with like a gel liner or like a pot liner um, are so much, it makes it so much easier. And plus I like how this is bent so you can kind of really like look straight ahead of you and just get those lines like exact. And then the last brush is this teeny tiny little brush. It's just the Destiny Detail Mini. And I really wanted this one for um, using um, like shadows for liners up top and also for getting color into the lower lash line, like eyeshadow color, especially when you do like a smoky look. Um, Cause there's so many times that I've tried to use a brush like this and I go to put that down there and it just kind of like, I get tons and tons of fallout and I just look like a raccoon. So I really wanted something that I could have a little bit more of control with the color. So I got this one and that's it. That's all of the stuff that I got from Coastal Scents. Um, I have to say that I'm like incredibly happy with everything. Um, once again, this is all the stuff that I got. I got all of these brushes. I got the free uh, mini Kabuki. I got the bright eyed eye brightener. And then I got four palettes. Um, I mean, all of that, not including tax, came to 106.75. So. I think that is a huge, huge, huge bargain, um, especially if you're someone who goes to a MAC counter and gets, you know, four things for that much. Um, you know, basically I got a whole bunch of really nice, nice brushes and four complete palettes with several varieties of colors in each. Um, so that's a really good deal. Um, again, I'm a really big fan of Coastal Scents. I feel like now, like I've really completed a lot of the stuff that I wanted to kind of collect and acquire from them. So look for um, reviews in my upcoming videos. Look for tutorials using these products um, if you want to see how I like them. And try them out for yourself. And one more thing, everything that I bought, <laughs> 
was completely paid for by myself. I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Um, I don't think I'm really popular yet to be sponsored by anyone, so I don't think you have to worry about that. And I'm not saying that if Coastal Sense offered to sponsor me, I would turn them down because I love their company. Um, but everything that I bought was money that came out of my own pocket. So <laughs> I know there's a huge disclaimer where I have to like let you know that. But um, just to put that out there. So you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will talk to you guys soon.